Hello, Asta here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another new product. This time I'm back with a new foundation, a new review. I'm doing a wear test as well. And foundation of the day is the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've been always a fan of NARS Cosmetics. They do some amazing, amazing foundations. So when they released this foundation, which was promising a long wearing, shine free finish for the day, I was like, I have to get my hands on that foundation. So I finally got it. I got myself a color Stromboli and it's kind of like a medium tan color. I'm wearing this foundation at the moment. I did apply it this morning to do a wear test for you guys. I'm gonna try to wear it as long as I possibly can today to show you how that lasts. So I did apply it using a brush on one side and then I did try to use a beauty blender on the other side. So from both sides, like they equally applied beautifully. I didn't see a big difference. Even when I was using a sponge, I didn't feel like the sponge is absorbing that much of the product and I still got really good coverage. Coverage wise, you get a instant medium coverage, but you can definitely build it to full coverage and it builds up beautifully. What I liked about it the most was that it dried down so quickly to touch proof. I was so amazed. Literally, I just, I couldn't believe that you can touch your face and nothing comes off. It feels like it's already been set with a powder. So that's a big thing for me. Therefore, I was able to use my powder bronzer straight away on the sides to create that contour and nothing would stick and drag and it went on like butter. It's absolutely comfortable on the skin and it does actually give you a semi-matte finish, but it has that velvety kind of feel to it. I can't even describe it. It's such an interesting formula of this foundation. It definitely doesn't feel heavy or fake on the skin. It just gives you a better fuller coverage, but it can still have this nice skin finish. So if we were to talk a little bit about this foundation, I was actually surprised by the quantity you actually get in this bottle. So normally um, any other foundation would have one fluent ounce in it. This one, however, has 1.5 fluent ounces. It's actually a lot more product for 37 euro. I purchased that on narscosmetics.ie website, but it's also available on narscosmetics.com. Other foundations that I have, they are one fluent ounce or 30 mils and they are around similar price. This one is much bigger and it's just the same price, which was amazing. The actual bottle is not glass, it's a plastic, but it's like a proper plastic finish. And it has this, again, velvety feel to it, which is so unusual, because normally you get this kind of like, this very slippy kind of plasticky, cheap kind of nearly feel, but this one doesn't feel cheap for some reason. And what I liked about it as well, that it doesn't have a pump, but it has, it's kind of like a squeezy too. You see the way it's kind of dripping already. It's a nice texture. It's not too runny, but it's not overly thick either. So you can see it kind of like gives you the medium coverage straight away. And when you apply it, it does still have some sheen to it, but it dries down to kind of like a velvety matte finish. The reason why I always love NARS that their foundations, they never oxidize. So it's like a true to color. Once you apply it, you know it's gonna stay that way for the whole day, which some other foundations do oxidize. It makes it so hard being matched for the foundation. So NARS describes this foundation as full coverage, natural looking, semi-matte foundation that doesn't oxidize and give you a comfortable 16 hours of wear. It's also oil-free, shine-proof, humidity and sweat-proof. And most interestingly, the description says that this protects you from the pollution and the blue light that you get from your phones or your screens or whatever. That is pretty new to me. Like I never come across any other foundation saying that it will protect you from the blue light, which makes this foundation even more appealing to me because I'm on my screen 24 seven, which I know it's not great, but this is life. So while this baby controls your oils and sebum production, it also has some hyaluronic acid in it to still make your skin hydrated throughout the day. And there is some oil absorbing powders in it that creates that kind of matte, smooth matte finish. And I was wondering, is that why it dries down and feels like it's been set with the powder? Maybe that's the ingredient. So I did apply it at 11 in the morning 
and I will wear it now, as I said, for as long as I can. And at the end of the day, I will check in with you guys again and hopefully will be able to show you how my skin looks because obviously it, it gets so dark in the evenings, it's kind of hard to get the good light, but we'll try. And yeah, like so far, I'm very impressed. I love how it looks on my skin. I love um, the feeling of it. I love that it's touch proof. That's the best thing ever. So far, very excited for it to see how it lasts. I hope it will because I really, really like this foundation. I definitely think it's something different from I ever tried. And I'll check with you uh, later in the evening. Yes, it's the following day. I didn't film the end of my wear test yesterday because it got so dark so quick and also because it was very late. So I kept it until today. But here is how it went yesterday. So yesterday I ended up wearing the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation for eight hours, actually over eight hours, but my last check-in with the video was eight hours. So when I did um, check my makeup after five hours of wearing this foundation, everything was fine i wasn't shiny my forehead was amazing like i normally always get very shiny in my forehead and nose and chin was fine now after eight hours i was still kind of happy how it looks on my forehead it did gather a little bit around my folds of my nose which is i suppose okay with some full coverage foundations i get that but the area I didn't like was around my mouth. It kind of seemed like this foundation wants to separate on me. Uh, it looked a bit funny, but it wasn't that obvious. I am just being so picky. I'm just trying to be very strict how it looks. So it wasn't that bad, but I mean, this is what happened. I've seen the change around my mouth area. I didn't like it. It looked like it's gonna separate. But again, this happens for me with all full coverage foundation. I personally wear, or I prefer to wear more of a lighter, light to medium coverage foundations, but not full, not everyday wear anyways. Well, when I go out, yes, I like a full coverage sometimes, but mainly I do prefer a lighter coverage. And this separation never ever Ever happens with a lighter coverage foundations so I did notice this pattern on me that fuller coverage foundations always kind of goes funny after like five six seven eight hours depending on the foundation and I wasn't really surprised despite all this I really really like this foundation I'm wearing it today again and the reason why today I'm wearing it with a different primer um, yesterday I was wearing it with the ordinary primer which I always test my foundations with and I love it and it works with many foundations. So today I'm wearing the Laura Mercier primer because it's a, it's not a silicone one, it's kind of like a water-based one. So just want to see whether this was to do because of the actual primers not working with the foundations. Maybe it was a primer issue and not a foundation issue. But again, I love, love, love this foundation. The highlight of this foundation for me is that you can touch your face. It kind of dries down and it seems like it's been set with powder. This is just something wow another thing claims to protect your skin from pollution and blue light as i said on my phone so so often i was like i can really ignore this happening if it saves me from the blue light so overall i'm absolutely delighted i did try it i like it it's full coverage i, I am definitely considering adding this to my kit i am however very curious to see how would that foundation last on more drier skin or more mature skin i have a feeling you would really need to kind of hydrate your skin i won't be able to tell this until i try it on my friends or clients or whatever to see how that lasts but Overall, um, this is a really lovely foundation. I love the packaging, it's very light. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. If any of you tried it, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think, especially if you have that drier skin or if you um, have mature skin. What was your experience? How did you get on using it? If you enjoyed this type of video, please give me a thumbs up. It will help my channel to grow. And as always, I'm saying thank you so much and I'll see you next week.